as always, there's a lot of games coming out this month, October 2024. And uh, first up, we've got SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star game. This is coming out on October 4th, 2024. And it's coming for the Nintendo Switch, PS4 and 5, Xbox One, SX, and PC. And it's developed by PHL Collective, published by Outright Games. And this game just kind of has a charming, classic adventure, arcade game kind of style to it, featuring Patrick Starr from the SpongeBob games. Kind of reminds me of old, uh, old school games like Spyro. Next up we have Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred, coming out on October 8th, 2024. This is a Diablo 4 expansion, developed by Blizzard. And uh, this new expansion introduces the Spiritborn class. And, uh, that kind of looks like it's a... Uh, Druid monk hybrid, like a fighter. He's got like kind of a halberd type thing, and uh, and also summons kind of animal spirits to help him fight. If you play D and D, maybe like the the barbarian class, but they already have a barbarian in Diablo. Kind of similar to what they already have, it seems like, with the with the druids and the barbarians. But you know, it's 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 a neat one, and there's also a new act. So then, uh, third we have Europa, which is coming out on October 11th, 2024. Coming for the Nintendo Switch and PC. The developer is Helder Pinto, and it's published by Future Friends Games. This game looks kind of fun. It's a Ghibli-esque, peaceful, flight-based adventure game in an idyllic landscape. It's similar to Journey, it looks like. It looks like a fun, very peaceful, zen-like game. Also coming out on October 11th is Metaphor ReFantasio. It's coming to the PS4 and PS5, Xbox, S and X, and PC. Developed by Studio Zero and is published by Atlas. This is an Atlas game. And yeah, this game has one of those annoying, hard to say names that immediately makes it kind of unlikable. Metaphor ReFantasio. I first heard that I'm like, ugh, what is that? I don't even want to know what it is. But I do think it is worth a look. It's a new fantasy RPG developed by Studio Zero, and that's a subsidiary of Atlas. And Atlas are the guys who created the Persona games and Shin Megami Tensei. So ReFantasio shares a visual style with the Persona games, and it features both real-time and turn-based battles depending, I guess, on the, the challenge level. So sometimes you'll just fight them on the level, and then other times it'll go into a mini-game battle mode. And uh, it will also have a time management aspect, which, uh, which it'll share with the Persona games as well. And, you know, I always like to hear about the new fantasy uh, IPs, and the Persona games and Atlas's games in general have kind of a... They're always kind of smart and well-written, so I'm interested to see where they take this new fantasy IP. Next up, number five, we have A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. That's coming out on October 17th, and that's coming to the PS5, Xbox, X and S, and PC. Developed by Stormmind Games and published by Saber Interactive, A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead is a survival horror-based game based on the movie franchise A Quiet Place features a noise management mechanic, which requires a player to monitor their noise levels in relation to the ambient noise. So it is a little different from other survival horror games in that there is a very technical sound management system in this one, which I think goes a little deeper than other sound management systems in other games that are similar. Like other horror games might have some kinds of sound monitoring systems, but this one seems to be very heavily oriented in that direction. Makes it a little bit different, and also these games just tend to be fun, so I think it's worth a check. A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. Next up, number six, we have Our Scene Lupin. Once a Thief, also coming out on October 17. This is coming to the Nintendo Switch, PS5 and 4, Xbox One, SX, and PC. And it's developed by Blazing Griffin and published by Microids. This is a mystery-themed puzzle game. It looks like it's got kind of a cat and mouse element. And uh, it looks like the player will be able to play as both the good guy and the bad guy. So they'll 
play as both the thief and uh, the thief is as a master of disguise and has some sneaking around and some breaking in elements and also as the detective who's trying to figure out the, who the thief is and there's a lot of uh, problem solving in that it looks like um, it might be unclear who the thief actually is kind of a Carmen San Diego situation where we know who the thief is we don't know the actual identity of the thief it's coming out on October 17th next up we have Super Mario Party Jamboree coming out on October 17th as well. This is just for the Nintendo Switch, developed by Nintendo. And Super Mario Party Jamboree is the 12th mainline Mario Party game for consoles. This one will have five new maps, as well as two from the old games. For me, I never think there are enough maps in these games. So even seven, for me, seems a bit light. I would want more. Especially when three out of five of the new maps, they have kind of a samey feel. And then there's a Bowser level, but like every game has a Bowser level, so that's basically not even new. So we're really not getting a lot of new maps, or a lot of new feeling maps anyway. But this game does have some new game modes, which do look interesting. So at least they're innovating on that. The game hasn't changed much since the N64, so I feel like they could be giving us more on the maps. They're always stingy on the maps, but maybe the new game modes will do it. Number eight, we have Inventory Quest Heroes Horde. This is coming out on October 22nd, just for the PC. Developed and published by independent developer Anti Ruokonen. And uh, this game has kind of an interesting mechanic to it. Inventory Quest is an RPG which gives the player control over a hero's inventory, and that's it. So, you know, we get a lot of inventory management mini games in games such as like Diablo or Resident Evil, but this game only gives the player control over the hero's inventory, and the hero just kind of do the battles themselves. And basically, the whole game is collecting gear and equipping your hero properly. And uh, I think it just has kind of a funny, um, a funny twist to the gameplay that might make it somewhat amusing. It's coming out on October 22nd. Amber Isle, number nine. This is uh, coming out twice this month. First on October 10th, it's coming out for the PC. And then on October 31st, it's coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Developed by Amber Tail Games, published by Team 17. And Amber Isle looks like a fun, cute little game, kind of like Animal Crossing, like an Animal Crossing clone, but it's featuring dinosaurs instead of uh, animals. And uh, it looks like there's gonna be a major shopkeeping element and haggling for the, for the store, which plays a large role in the gameplay as well, which is also unique to this game. So that's coming out on October 10th or October 31st. Finally, number 10, we have Underworld Overseer. It's coming out on October 31st, and this is for VR. It's coming out to the MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3, MetaQuest Pro, and PC. It's developed by Myron Games, and Underworld Overseer is a VR dungeon management game which requires a player to build and manage an evil dungeon, and its inhabitants need to be managed while the dungeon gets raided by heroes. So we've seen games like this before, but this looks like a fun dungeon keeping game coming out for the VR systems. And these are the top 10 games coming out in October, but let me know, did I miss your favorite game? Let me know in the comments.